Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I am sick, so I'm sorry about my voice. Um, I did lose it like completely yesterday. So today at least I have a voice, so honestly I'm grateful for that. But I really wanted to film this because I'm trying out a new hair color today. And I've done so many red hair videos here on my channel using like the same products. I figured, you know what, maybe it's time to start testing new formulas and then seeing what the outcome is like and then seeing if the products actually work. So the color that we're trying out today is still by the Ion brand, which you guys know I love their semi-permanent colors, but this is from their permanent hair color line and the color is um, medium intense red blonde so it's 7 IR so it is a permanent hair color so we are going to need developer I'm going to be using 10 volume developer today because I want to deposit hair I mean I, I want to deposit hair that'd be awesome I want to deposit uh, the color into my hair I'm not trying to lift it um, at all so I'm gonna go ahead and read the directions this is what the color actually looks like and then I'll come back <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and read all the directions. You want to make sure that you read them because sometimes they have very important warnings like if you have, you know, relaxed hair or if you recently got a perm and you want to make sure that you're waiting enough time between those processes um, before you color your hair. And then you also have to find out what the ratio for the certain um, color is. So the ratio for this is a one-to-one -one ratio. So that means that the ounces of color to developer has to be even. So I'm gonna use the entire tube, which is two ounces of color. So I'm gonna be using two ounces of developer. Today I'm using 10 volume because I'm just depositing color and I'm doing tone on tone. If you wanted to lift the hair, then you could use like a 20 volume. Okay, so I got my color um, into the bowl and in person, I don't know what color it looks like on camera. It looks like a very bright, hot pink color, which is honestly very promising because as you guys know for my semi-permanent colors I usually use magenta which is a very intense hot pink so this seems promising it looks like it's gonna be like the correct tone that I usually like um, but we'll see all right so after mixing it this is the color that I'm coming up with it's kind of like a very bright intense neon pink maybe you could see that on my gloves there so because the developer is a 10 volume it's not really going to lift my own hair that much so it's okay if i like overlap it it's not going to make like a huge difference on my natural roots um so i i'm pretty messy with it i don't really care i'm just gonna kind of get it on there as i'm applying it it's looking a little a little light huh All right, so I'm just going to keep applying the hair color all throughout my hair, just applying it in sections, and then I will be back. Right, so these are the final results of the hair color. I think it's a beautiful red. It's a little bit deeper than what I'm used to and what I usually like to go for, but it is super rich. It has a lot of uh, depth and dimension. It's a little bit more toned down. So if you like an intense red, but you don't want it to be so you know, over the top or vibrant, I think that this is a perfect middle ground. Um, probably if I had this red when I was in healthcare, they wouldn't have complained so much. But um, I like a little bit brighter of a red. So I don't know if I would use it again. Maybe if I could lighten it up somehow or if they have one level higher, like say an 8 IR, then I would probably go for that one. So, I mean, overall, I like it. I think it's a beautiful color. I like to go for a more bright, intense, in-your-face red. Um, but... Sometimes I'm in the mood for a darker red, so it just depends. But this is the color overall, which is what I wanted to show you guys. I am in no rush to like change it or anything. I'm just gonna wait for it to fade and then try another color next time. Let me know what you think about this color in the comment section down below. Do you like it? Is this your level of red? Do you like it brighter, darker? What do you think? Let me know if you guys like this type of video. Give me a thumbs up so that we can continue trying out different red hair colors and then we could see the end result. So, with that being said, remember that wherever you go and whatever you do, always leave a mark.